I'm Raina Morgan with iHealth Tube. We've been talking with Dr. Rappaport. Dr. Rappaport, let's talk about the delivery forms of ATP because with peak ATP, you came up with the first viable oral form, but prior to that, how was it delivered? Right. Well, as we mentioned before, in the late 40s and the early 1950s, people used very low levels of ATP by intramuscular injections mostly for peripheral vascular disease and certain uh, inflammatory uh, joint diseases, such as bursitis, tendonitis, and okay. osteoarthritis. Now, it hasn't been since the 80s and the 90s that I began to be interested in developing an oral formulation of ATP. Now, the oral formulation of ATP, which is a soft gel with an enteric coating, protects the ATP through the gastric, gastric acidity. The stomach is very acid. It has a pH of between 1 and 2. Right. And ATP has one bond that's very susceptible to acid, and it oh. can be broken down. Okay. That's why ATP has to be protected through its passage through the stomach. Passage through the stomach is usually within half an hour to 120 minutes. Now the ATP is then, then dissolved, the enteric coating dissol is dissolved at the pH 5.5 of the duodenum, and the ATP is degraded to adenosine and inorganic phosphate, both through the, through the portal circulation end up in the liver, expanding the liver okay. ATP pools. Now, my discoveries were the route by which ATP that's administered either parenterally or enterally ends up in the blood plasma. And the way it is is by expanding the, the liver ATP pools, uh -huh. the liver through the turnover of its ATP pool supplies the adenosine for red blood cell ATP synthesis. The expanded synthesis in the red blood cells provides the ATP in the blood plasma by releasing ATP in a non-hemolytic fashion. So this essentially enables us to have an effective oral formulation of ATP such as peak ATP that's branded and supplied by TSI. Now the product is completely natural, I should emphasize Very good. that. It's a natural product that's produced by, for, by fermentation. Well, there were many, many studies done too, were there not? Yes, there are many studies done and it is produced by fermentation. Now I also should say that uh, <clears throat> ATP has its own buffering capacity and there are doubts whether you really need enteric coating in the stomach because okay. it can maintain its own pH. The French um, approved drug, for instance, is uh, ATP in a form of powder, the same mm -hmm. form that we are using, except that it's applied in uh, two parts hard shell capsule. Okay without an enteric coating. Without the coating. Yeah, in a, very, in a much lower amount that we do. Oh, so okay. So we supply that, we, 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 uh, we feel that we have a great advantage over them. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Rappaport. We'll talk some more about ATP and energy.